Right, today we are going to be installing the Dunn and Watson drawers down here into the back of a Toyota Genuine tray. What makes this interesting is where these drawers usually attach to the ribs underneath uh, the uh, trays. Mine's just a solid sheet of metal and I've got carpet on the top so I can't weld, can't screw, can't do anything. So. Solution. These Toyota trays, they have like um, the solid rib here all the way down and on those ribs, believe it or not, they are already like pre-drilled holes in them all the way down. So I'm going to utilize these pre-drilled holes with some braces going across and to keep the original look, I'm not touching this here, which means I've got to drop the drawers down a good 25 mil. So I'm going to run a brace from underneath here, right here, all the way down to that brace just there. Now this, I didn't know if it was structural or not, so I've left that and only opted for the 900 drawers, which are going to stop about there because the drawers that I've got have a lid that opens here and I need approximately that much, I've already measured it out on the drawers, about that much to clear it so the drawers open correctly. So. That's the plan. Now let's try and make it happen. So that's the marking there. That's how much room I need from the back of the drawer to the front for the drawer to open completely. Can't do it upside down. Um, and for the, uh, the table to drop to open. So that's the measurement. Can't go any deeper, can't go any shallower. I did want it recessed a lot more, but due to that little bit of door, that's what I'm gonna to have to be stuck with. So it kind of measured itself out for me. Which is ain't, ain't too bad, because it means a little bit less thinking. So this is a full aluminium, 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 aluminium. This is a full aluminium drawer. It's not the heaviest, but it's definitely not the lightest. Now I didn't want to have to go painting and powder coating or anything like that, so I'm using stainless steel braces. I know it's not going to be the strongest, but it's definitely um, going to be the easiest to use uh, rather than steel and definitely stronger than aluminium, but um, yeah, that's my choice for this project. I can polish that up and make it look nice, which is um, another bonus. Hopefully this works. Okay, so all I've done is tech screwed it in each corner. Um, that's just enough so that if I have made a mistake with anything, I'm not putting too many holes in it. Now I'm going to quickly test fit that in and um, get ready to put the crossbars in. So these will stick to, obviously on the other side of the drawer, these will stick to those cross braces and I will bolt them like full straight through to them, which means a little bit of pre-drilling. I've got to mark them out. So that's why they're going straight in the truck now to be done. So I was going to have some help doing this, but the boys have all gone on jobs, so I'm going to try and carefully use the forklift and get it up there myself. It's only just got to hang in there, it doesn't have to do anything special. Actually, yes it does. Yeah. Alright, let's figure this out. So I've got something to hold it in. This could kind of see, if I get the right light in there. Now that's gonna hook up onto the back one. That's gonna be the most difficult thing to sort out. I might have to get under the car and do some drilling there. But this is just gonna hook up under here. See if I can't do that. Well, that wasn't a mission at all. There's the test fit. I did make a miscalculation. The, um, the 900 is right there. 
Um, I did forget to calculate for that, so I am pretty much flush with this. So this will be the first time I've opened it. It's not plumbed in properly. Still got to center it all. So this is the quality. Oh, come on. That's it. So get your stuff out. Awning. Cook up dinner, whatever. Sweet as. Cool. Okay, so now what I have to do, so I have to secure these right in these pre-drilled holes. They're there already for me, ready to rock. Can't believe that. How lucky is that? Nice and centered there on the rear. I have to jack that up so that these poles right here, if I can zoom in for you, brighten it up, zoom in, so those poles can be fixed straight to it. And then I will add some bracing bolts all the way along here. If I can get the drill in there with that on, it might be a lot easier, I'll test fit that. Then I've got to throw the bars straight across here, tie them in, put a bolt through, and then that's it, we're done. She's on. Another one to go at the back just up there. It'll be a little bit harder. All right, so, after a little bit of swearing, she's done. What do you reckon of that? A few stickers. She'll blend in nicely. <laughs> Nicely bolted in there. Still haven't taken the stickers off. That's going to be a pain in the butt to do. Hmm. Save the stickers for the boys to take off, I reckon. <laughs> 